Okay, soon I will show some visuals, but before that I want you to see once again how they have copied some writings from our ancestors and it ended up in the Bible. What we're going to deal with is um, Amenemope, who lived between, between 1290 and 1190 BCE, that was in uh, during the 19th dynasty and his writings are in the British Museum it's called the Amenemopet Papyrus number EA 10474 and it's dated around 1000 BCE we're going to compare that with the Proverbs and Sol Solomon is um, is the one is uh, the, the alleged author of, of the Proverbs he lived around 90, 950 BCE so you can clearly see that Amenemope was around way before that. Okay. Now, Amenemope's instructions, chapter one. Give your ears and hear what is said. Proverbs twenty two seventeen. Bow down thine ear and hear the words of the wise. Amenemope, chapter one. Give your mind over to their interpretation. It is profitable to put them in your heart. Proverbs 22.17 And apply thine heart unto, unto my knowledge. Amenemope chapter 6 Do not displace the surveyor's marker on the boundaries of the arable land. Proverbs 23.10 Remove not the old landmark and enter not into the fields of the fatherless. Amenemope chapter 7 if riches come to you by death, they will not spend the night with you. They have made themselves wings like geese, and they fly up to the sky. Proverbs 23, 5 Whilst thou set thine eyes upon that which is not, for riches certainly make themselves wings, they fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Amenemope chapter 9 do not fraternize with the hot-tempered man, nor approach him to converse. Proverbs 22:24. Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go. Amenemope chapter 10. God hates one who falsifies words. His great abomination is duplicity. Proverbs 12:22. Lying lips are abomination to the Lord. But they that deal truly are his delight. Amenemope in um, chapter 11. Do not covet the property of the dependent. Proverbs 22 22. Rob not the poor because he is poor. Amenemope chapter 13. Better it is to be praised as one loved by men than wealth in the storehouse. Proverbs 22 1. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches and loving favor rather than silver and gold. Amenemope chapter 17 Make not for yourself a measure of two capacities. Proverbs 20:23. 20, Divers weights are an abomination unto the Lord, and a false balance is not good. Amenemope chapter 21 Do not circulate your words to others nor fraternize with one who is too candid. Proverbs 20.19 He that goeth about as a tale-bearer revealeth secrets, therefore meddle not with him that flattereth with his lips.